Hey guys, it's Joe. I hope everyone's doing great out there. Coming at you today with an unboxing video, and this is a new box to my channel. This is my very first Parcel of Terror. Now, if you guys don't know uh, Parcel of Terror, um, it is made by a company called Cryptocurium. Uh, it is a one-man show, I believe. Um, Jason McKittrick is the artist that um, makes these boxes, and everything in this box is completely handmade. Now, um, he always puts out uh, awesome stuff. I only have one item from him, I believe, so far, and that is the Headless Horseman wall plaque that I ended up making a trade with someone before. But this will be my first full-fledged Parcel of Terror box. Now, very excited. My, you know, the main reason I jumped in on this month's box was this month is completely Nightmare on Elm Street related. So super excited uh, to see. Um, there are three mystery items in this box along with the stuff that was already um, shown on his uh, Facebook page. But uh, so I know of a few items in this box, but I also um, don't know a few items in this box. So super excited uh, to see the items that were already um, shown are amazing. Uh, this guy is a super talented artist and um, I can't wait to show you his work for those of you guys that are not familiar with um, Crypticurium and um, the Parcel of Terror box. So, um, I don't think there's any real reason to go mystery style on this one since I already know a few of the items. So we'll just take, we'll open this up and um, go through here. All right. So um, this is like the um, sort of spoiler sheet. I think I'll save this for last since there are some mystery items in here. Um, and, um, you know, maybe I will just kind of feel around and kind of go mystery on this. Um, so, okay. This, the first item is friggin' amazing, guys. Uh, this is a wall plaque. And uh, let me open this right up here. Um, this thing is friggin' awesome. Everything in this box, guys, is hand done by uh, Jason. So, super awesome. Anytime you can get handmade stuff, it's just super special. And it's all, you know, unique items that you can't get anywhere else. But this is super awesome, guys. It is a F Freddy Soul Pizza. <laughs> How friggin' awesome is that? Uh, hopefully it shows up well there. You can kind of see the souls bursting out, um, you know, out of the pizza right there. But super awesome right there. Of course, if you're familiar with the Nightmare on Elm Street series there, you know the Freddy Soul Pizza there. So that is super awesome. Oh, I love that. That is a great wall plaque, um, you know, hand-painted and, and um, sculpted by him. So that is super cool. And I will find a good place with the rest of my Freddy stuff up above to hang that. That is super cool, though. Oh, dropped it. All right, it rolled. It didn't break, though. Uh, all right, next item we have is very cool. We got a, it is a pin. And we have a pin of like, um, it was like the snake Freddy, you know, when he, when he shapeshifted into, um, like, you know, the sort of snake or worm or whatever you want to call it. Um, but that is super cool. Kind of a, I wonder if this glows in the dark because it is, um, I'll have to check on the sheet. It is kind of a greenish color. So I'm not sure if this glows in the dark or not there, but as you can see, you can get close there. You can see the detail on Freddy's face there. Very, very cool right there. So super awesome. All right, next item here. We have a, looks like a print. All right, very cool. We got a Freddy Krueger print here. So this is one of the items that wasn't featured. Um, the other two were featured, but this item was not shown. So this is one of the mystery items. It looks like a print by the artist. Um, I will give you the information on who the artist is of this Freddy print, but very cool. Freddy print there. All right, next item here. It looks like we got a few prints in here. So, oh, very cool. All right, we got another Freddy print here. 
Um, uh, this is a good one. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at once again at the artist who did this print. But you see, we get a print of Freddy with kind of souls kind of bursting out of him there. Um, which I believe was from. I want to say it was. I want to say this might be inspired by the Freddy by Freddy's Dead. Uh, towards the end of that one when um. They come bursting out of them and stuff, but I will definitely check the paper, but a very nice artist print there as well. Right, so next we have a, um, <laughs> very cool, we have the 8-Bit Freddy sticker. This is the other item that was shown, um, so that is very cool. You got the 8-Bit Freddy from the video game. I'm assuming it's from the Nintendo video game. I never played the Freddy video game, so, um... But that is super cool right there. I will find a good place um, to display that as well. Super, super cool right there. A couple more items in the box here. We have a letter with a Freddy stamp on it. That is unique. I did not know they made Freddy stamps, but it doesn't surprise me because they make every uh, Freddy everything. I have a Freddy friggin' toaster, so they make friggin' everything Freddy related, so... All right, let's see what we got in here. All right, looks like a right, a, some a, maybe a short story or something like that. We shall see. Yeah, all right. So it looks like a, yeah, it looks like a short story, a couple of short stories. So I will find out who did um, these short stories here. Um, but we'll take a look at that. And last, but certainly not least, guys, the, you know, best item in the box, without a doubt. And it's friggin' amazing. Um, he does all of these magnets that are absolutely amazing. If you guys have never seen the slasher magnets he, do he does, they just, like, blow you away. And this one is no exception. It is a Freddy uh, slasher magnet um, from New Nightmare, of course, because that is when when Freddy wore <laughs> his um, trench coat thing there and had this type of look to him. Um, I thought the New Nightmare Freddy was one of the cooler looks that Freddy did. Um, he did, never wore the hat in New Nightmare. He went hatless in this one. And just a very, very cool, scary look to Freddy in this. In New Nightmare, it really brought New Nightmare really brought Freddy back to the raw and you know scariness that Freddy was, not the um, quirky zany Freddy that kind of went you know in you know uh, like three, four, five, and um, six. Um, so that is a super awesome magnet. There, I'll get nice and close so you can see all the details in this hand painted, handcrafted magnet. But it is super awesome, of course. Um, so quickly, we will read the um, spoiler sheet so we can get some uh, extra information here on this stuff. So um, thank you for your membership in the Cryptocurian Parts of Terror. Uh, take a look at the jack lantern stamp on the inside lid of this box. Um, is it black or red? If it's red, you found one of the five. Uh, Bloody Jack stamps, and you want a special Nightmare Freddy Slasher Magnet variant. So, if there was, um, I didn't, I don't even know if there was a Jack on mine, but it doesn't really matter. There was not a Jack, but if it's a red Jack, you um, usually you would get a variant of the Freddy Magnet, um, which I think there was limited to five. I saw it on this Facebook page here, but okay. So the first item is let's grab the thing I dropped. Uh, which luckily it was undamaged when I dropped it, but um, so number one is the Soul. Pizza wall plaque. Um, I love soul food. As seen in part four, the Dream Master, Freddy's victim souls can be seen trapped as horrific toppings on the hellion on this hellish pizza. Cast in solid resin and individually hand painted, it comes ready to hang with attached metal latch. So yep, like I said, uh, everything in this box hand done, hand painted, hand crafted, just amazing work, and um, it was. Um, I was trying to think of which Freddy it was, and it was in part four, the Dream Master. Uh, the iconic scene of his, uh, you know, uh, glove, his uh, metal finger going into the pizza. I will never forget that scene, and absolutely amazing. Soul pizza right there. All right, item number two is the 8-bit 
Freddy sticker. Um, so the AP for a high quality pearl finish die cut sticker of Freddy as he appears in the 1990 NES game from LJN, produced from original artwork printed by Two Cross Printing. So very cool. Um, so it is from the 1990 NES game, which I never played. I d you guys will have to let me know. Was it a good game? Because I never played it. I was pretty young back then, so um, never didn't get to game with the like original NES that much, and never got a chance to play that. I did play, of course, the Friday the Thirteenth one um, back back uh, in the day, but never got to play the Freddy one, which is unfortunate. But very cool sticker there. Um, of course, and we got the next item is the new Nightmare Freddy Slasher Magnet. Um, so we got uh, Miss Me, the darker and more visceral manifestation of Freddy Krueger from Wes Craven's 1994 film New Nightmare. 13th in our series of exclusive slasher magnets available only through the Parcel of Terror, cast in solid res resin and individually hand-painted. And I uh, couldn't have said that better myself, the darker and more visceral manif manifestation of Freddy. Absolutely agree with that. Um, all right, next item we have is the Snake Freddy pin. And uh, Freddy's serpentine form from Part 3, the Dream Warriors, cast in solid resin and individually hand-painted. Comes ready to wear with attached back pin it's very cool so i guess it does not go in the dark it does not say that but um a nice paint on it it's like a nice greenish paint and of course this one featured in number three the dream warriors all right next we have the man of your dreams print um which i'm assuming is this one the man of your dreams print is uh everyone's favorite dream invading burn victim created by the parcel of terror by crypto Karim, guest artist Trevor Henderson. See more of Trevor's work at trevorhenderson.format.com. So yeah, this is though definitely the one done by uh, Trevor Henderson. So definitely go check out his work, guys. And then we have um, the Chest of Souls print here, which is an awesome one. Uh, the trapped souls of Freddy's victim escaped as he is defeated at uh, the end of the Dream Warriors. Okay, so I was wrong. This is from the Dream Warriors, Freddy. Uh, created by Cryptocurium guest artist Brandon Zimmerman. Love Brandon Zimmerman's work, guys. Uh, see more of Brandon, Z Z Brandon Zimmerman's work at Miserarium.com. Now, Brandon Zimmerman, one of my favorite artists that, uh, out there. He did these amazing uh, plaques behind me here of uh, Pennywise and Sam, Pinhead, and Barlow. Guy is a fantastic artist, guys, and he is the one that um, did this Chest of Souls print. And uh, lastly, we have the uh, uh, the Daydreamer, which is a short tale inspired by Nightmare on Elm Street series uh, by Cryptocurium guest creator Ken James. So that is it, guys. Um, an awesome box once uh, from Cryptocurium Parcel of Terror, my very first one. It did not disappoint. A lot of awesome stuff in this box. Let me know what your favorite item was in this box, guys. And let me know what your favorite Nightmare on Elm Street was. Since it was a Nightmare on Elm Street uh, themed box, let me know what your favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movie was, guys. So that is it. And I hope everyone has a great night. And we'll see you all real soon.